All right, guys, we are here today with... Chloe. And she's ready to learn a... Ollie. We don't know. We learned to Ollie in the last video. She was like, today, I think I should learn to Ollie. And I said, you already learned how to Ollie. Okay, well, we'll start the video off with all the tricks you know. First, we push, get comfortable, roll around. Yeah, girl, you're getting it. First try. Troy taught you how to stop. Very well done. Yep, keep going. Shredding, good, looking good. Yep, tic-tac. Oh, just all the way around? What do you call that? Kick turn 360, all right. Mark it on the Braille app. Try one of these, tic-tac. Back and forth. So you're gonna stand still, and then you're gonna go just the same thing as your 360, except for then back. Yep, forward, back, forward, back. Yeah, good. Okay, good. Mark it on the Braille app. You're up to like four points already. Tic-tac. I'm up to seven points. Okay, seven points, whoa. So we got that. Yep. Now, I don't know, you wanna go straight to Ollie? Oh yeah, popcorn. No, just this. All right. When you're a beginner, anything goes, guys. Popcorn, you ready? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Rebate, first try. Good, shove it Ollie. You got the Uzi shirt on today. The Uzi walker. Which one do you wanna try first, shove it or Ollie? Ollie, I guess. All right, go ahead. First try! See? There's something about the ollie, by the way. Tell everyone. So if you just practice just like a gallop, like that. Yeah. And then you do that on here. A gallop. Now you know how to ollie. For every single person that never learned how to ollie, just gallop on flat and then gallop on the board. What's funny to me about that is that the way you lift it up, you did this foot up and then this foot up, and then you get on the board and you push this foot down and this foot up. But don't let me mess you up. Now I got it in your head, you're probably gonna. Okay, that's good. Is that a good ollie? I might need to get a side slow motion shot of this just to make sure. I don't think that's your best work, Chloe. Yeah, sorry to let you know. You gotta drag your foot more, bring it more up. You didn't quite ollie, your back wheels didn't come off the ground. A Little bit of heavy on the toes, but that's okay. All uh, four wheels got off there, that's good. Do it again. Dang! Now you're taking it up a straight curb. Oh yeah, that was good, keep that. Dang, girl, first try. So shove it. You landed this in three tries the first day you tried it. It is not a weakness. But it's like I go 90, like a sh uh, pop 90. Yeah, well don't pop 90, pop 180. First try! Fully non-committal. How long have you been married? Eight years. Put both feet on that board then. First try! That was pretty good, right? Uzi, it's pretty good, right? All right, let's go to the ramp. Come on. This is what you did the first day. I know, but that was terrifying. Was it actually? No, it wasn't. It was totally terrifying. Remember what I told you, bend your knees and I'll move those rails. You can even go in like this. You got it, Chloe. First try. Bend those knees. Okay, good. I think for this video, what we should do, Chloe, is we should do this. You ready? Yeah. And over that. So like a little bit faster up here, and then down, and then up and over the A-frame. Over it, like like this. So bend your knees, roll in, it's all good. Take your time. It's so funny, like you're going just fine, then you have a couple falls, and then you start to totally go like, this is dangerous. Your, your mind starts going, this is dangerous, slow down. Imagine what I feel like every day, full wang danga, hashtag women of braille, for all the women out there. Yep, bend those knees, good! You want the knee pads? What just happened? Nothing. <laughs> well, you wanna know what I think? Read the back of my shirt. I don't know what happened there, but you freaked out. Remember, the knees bent, bend, bend. You can bend your hips too. Bend those knees. 
Yep, yep. There you go. Run it! Yeah! Now go up the bank. Now bail, bail, bail. Yeah, get out. Yeah, you don't want to go back. No, sir. <laughs> Did that make anybody else nervous? Was anybody else freaking out? Was it just me? <laughs> I was like, bail, bail, bail. Okay, now do it right here. Oh, man, we're just so close to this manual pad. But basically, you want to steer into that ramp to the right because it's more gradual. And then we'll eventually get enough speed where you can go over that. Try to go there. Okay, bend your knees. Lower, lower. Yeah, that was good, that was good. I told her to go in that direction, she went in that direction. That's okay. I would just keep doing that until you get comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Yeah! There you go! Okay, that was good. She went down, she thought she was gonna get hung up here. And then she was going it to the left, and then she steered herself to the right. Well played. It'll be easier for you, honestly, if you get more speed here. Like go a little bit faster on the flat top, and then this part right here will give you less hard time. Yeah, bend your knees, bend your knees. Okay, okay, bail! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Fakey. And then when you do something sick, you gotta grab your board and you go like this. And now say, you! <laughs> now you're a skater. Okay, that was good. Right. Uh, I thought you were not gonna make it f down this fully. You did not have your knees fully bent, and then you went. Just keep your knees bent. Trust me. It's not my first day. I wonder if we should teach you to kick turn. Well, I don't know. I don't want to change the path here. You're pretty close. How do you feel about making it over that ramp? I feel like I can. I just need to go faster. Go. Cool. No, 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 I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Woo! That was the wrong side for my heart, but that's OK. It's beating out the right side of my chest. <laughs> All right, you got it. You're getting more comfortable riding the board. About to hit the five stair. No. Yeah! I forget how actually fast you have to go and without the ability to pump. So pump means like when you're going down the ramp, you like push on your legs. Don't even try to do that. Just maybe a little bit of a harder push up here. It looks good. Make sure you bend your knees. It's scaring me just a bit. A smidge. <laughs> bend your knees here. Okay, you're so close. Just a little faster. He almost made it up that one. <laughs> okay, you're getting good at riding backwards as well. I feel like just giving her a push, you know what I mean? For a brand new skater that's not super comfortable to jump on the board, like the way I would say, like, Chloe, get more speed, I'd say, like, go like this. That's not gonna work. <laughs> She's like three inches from the top. I have an idea, I have an idea. I mean, I would say try two pushes up here, but it might, you might be like not ready for that. Or one, or one hard push. I think this board might give you more speed, okay. but I'm also a little bit nervous to have you switch. The trucks are pretty tight. Might be a little higher off the ground. Faster, bend your knees extra. Okay, this might be a bad idea. Bend your knees, oh!
seemed kind of the same. Oh, I almost died. Is that the most frustrating thing in the world? It's so close. You're like this far away, but then you need to get it to be like, I guess like beyond there. So quite a bit more speed because you're gonna need enough speed to carry you over that. Well, my weight will carry me over. All right, give it a full wang dang it. I think one hard push, but like a hard push. Like you go like a little setup and then give it like a. Make sure you bend those knees. Okay, do that again. We gotta send it to Kylie. This is game escape material. Okay, that was good. That was epic. Now I think we roll up this ramp and then off the curb. How about that? She just straight up thinks she can do it. Just straight up, first try. You have to do like a little, kind of like a little like deek. Or how about, do you want to get that on your own board? You think you can or you think it's yeah, faster with this? All right, try, try. I'm just curious to see. Yeah, so it's so interesting. So the difference between this board and that board is that is my vert skateboard, which has bigger wheels, which will allow you to roll faster. That's it. But you got it on this. You're just gonna need to push a little harder. Is it, are the trucks heavier? The trucks are wider, so a little heavier, sure. Not scary, right? Yeah. You worked your way up to it. This is why proper gradients in skateboarding. Just not quite making it. Do you got the new braille bearings in there? No. Well, that's what you're missing. Guess you'll never make it. You're gonna have to push extra hard. In my board, we have the new braille bearings. Yeah, it's so interesting too. Like when you move, you move your foot, you go like this. Like you stop yourself a bit. Yeah. Don't do that. Just, I mean, that might be the, what's helping you like gradual, but like give it just a push. Yeah. The struggle is real. You got it, you got it, Chloe. Yeah, you can go up there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah now keep pushing, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! So we'll do the same thing, drop it on this side. I mean, you could push to it, I guess, but it might be easy like this. You have to lift to the front. I thought you were gonna step off, but that's that's okay. You did good. I should have explained it. I should have explained it better. Okay, so when you roll when you roll off, first of all, it'll be easier with more speed. Uh, second of all, I might. It's so interesting. I never really thought about this much for beginners, but I might want to have you use the bigger board with the bigger wheels. But when you roll off, because <laughs> what'll happen is you, if your front falls down, you go. <laughs> like that, and you fall forward, which is what happens. <laughs> oh like that was, <laughs> it was so funny. It was like you laid down and went just like, <laughs> I'm over this. So a little more speed. You have to practice like, like this. Yeah, you gotta put on your foot on the back. See that crack? Like it's good practice to kind of go like this. Okay. Like just lift up just a s smidge. Now officially the worst skateboard teacher in the world. She just straight. 
<laughs> Body. A little bit more than that. <laughs> but it's funny because if you're going fast enough, you can just roll straight off, especially if the wheels are big. Lift, lift up. Yeah, just a bit, just like as you're riding, just, just a little, just the slightest little guy. Just lift. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, even just the littlest, littlest thing. <laughs> now, I think you should do it again with more speed on this. We already did worst case scenario. It's not gonna get any worse than that. Yeah. But a little bit less. Like, you're going like full on like manual. You, like, when you're riding off, in fact, so it doesn't necessarily need to go up. It just needs to not go down. It just needs to go like that. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Go get, go ahead. Give it a full wing danger. Nah, just kidding. Run it a little bit more. Yeah, just like that. But now you have to do that, like, as you're going off the edge. So try it, like, pretend that crack is the edge and go. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if you did that, you would probably slip back. So don't so much. Just slightest amount. Yeah. Let me see your board. See your first slide mark. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's the beginning of a new era. Yeah. So you went like this, stuck, yeah. and that's where that paint came from. Lift up just the slightest bit. Even if it was like that, you were still high enough to where this board isn't touching there, and you would just go. But you need a bit of speed because if that went like that, and you were going too slow, then that momentum would send you forward. I think you got it if you just go and give another full commitment. Go ahead. But uh, it's probably safer to do a few more. Just like two more. Pretend the line is the, the drop. Yeah. Like if you were going fast enough, that would work. You probably need to do it a little bit longer because you're going a bit slow. Let's do it again. Now lift. Yeah. I mean, I can see like your one wheel is kind of coming up. So you have your weight a little bit more on the back, which is good. I mean, honestly, if you're going off this, it might be fine, but do it a little bit better. Lift up. Yeah. Now lift, like, lift up by not like putting all your weight back, but by bending your knees. You can leave your weight where it's at, but bend your knees. Yeah. So what you were doing before the crack was perfect. If you do that here, you will go off the ledge. You got it? I think. If she would have committed that time the way she did the first time, she would have fully landed. That time she went to step off, scared me bad, scared me bad. <laughs> We're gearing up for the Chloe versus Kylie game of skate. Should we analyze this instant replay? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you were fine. Watch, rolling down, looking good. Look at how fast you're going compared to the beginning of the day. Honestly, the only thing that happened is you stepped your back foot off. But a little faster could help, sure. A little bit more lifting up can help, sure. Freak out, yell, slap your tail. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that counts, right? Yeah, 100%. Um, Two to make it true. You freaking? That was good, right? Yeah, that was good. The first time she flew and splotted. Full splits. Yeah, I didn't have enough speed that time. You got it. You got it! See, now she can do that drop, she can do that drop, she can do the three stair. brand new skater, you go from here to there and you're still on the board. Let's go! Does that count as something on Braille Army? 
right off a curb. Right off a curb? Yeah, so here, so Chloe is on the, on the app, on the Braille app, and she's trying to figure out how she can get the most points. So she's like, as a beginner, we need to add more very, very, very beginner tricks. So she's gonna help me put together a whole list of, I'm not sure if right off a curb is on the app. I don't know, actually. So we'll have to make sure that it's in there. Popcorn is in there. We have to make sure Tic Tac is in there. We're gonna go through and make sure that all the absolute beginner, because the very, very, very hardest part of skateboarding is right at the absolute beginning. You get a board, you think this is pretty cool. I would like to learn. Maybe Aaron Cairo is not your personal in-person instructor, but you have me through the video, through the Braille Army Plus app. But if you go out to the skate park and it's so, it's kind of like sad. Like we did this survey of um, reasons why people quit skateboarding. And it's so interesting to see how many people would like, I go to the skate park, I get made fun of, or even worse than that, or maybe not worse than that, but just part of the whole thing is like, I'm too scared to even go to the skate park, right? So we're working on building a positive, helpful community that helps each other learn. So we want the vibe to be like, you go to the skate park and everybody's like, oh, you're brand new. Here's a tip. Here, try this. Here, do that. So what do you think you learned here most today? I mean, when we first started, you were like, no way am I rolling down that. And you rolled down that, rolled up that, rolled up down this, up down the A-frame, then down that, and then down the curb. So what do you think helped you most with this that you can help the people on the other side of that computer screen? You, yes, you right there and that person sitting next to you. Well, one thing is just getting super comfortable with every little step. And then after you get used to it and after you get like used to like a specific movement, it becomes like natural. One thing is it can be like super frustrating and there are times where you want to give up, but if you just like push through that, it's worth it in the end and then it kind of comes naturally. You guys can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. It doesn't matter who you are, where you live, how long you've been skateboarding for. I mean, there's people that are like, I'm 30, am I too old to learn? No, the answer is no. There are people that are way older than 30 that are starting to skate right now and they're getting good and they're doing absolutely awesome. So we're here to help you. I hope these videos are helpful. I hope that it's not just us having fun learning how to skate, but also inspiring you on the other side of that phone, computer screen, wherever you are. So get Braille Army Plus. We're on there to help you. All the skateboarding made symbols are on there. There's tons more videos that can help you learn. And yeah, check out all those other videos. Leave it in the comments below what trick or what thing you would like to see close we learn to do next? Is it a flat ground trick? Is it the mini ramp? Now you can drop in on a bank, you can drop in on the mini ramp. <laughs> like what part of skateboarding do you want to see her do? The vert ramp? I'll uh, just leave it in the comments below and then we'll go through that and we'll choose what the ne next episode is gonna be. Check out all those videos right there. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below and you, yes you, get a skateboard. We got you. Learn how to ride it with Braille Army Plus, everything a skater needs.